Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about something that needs to be talked about but people might not feel comfortable discussing it or asking questions about it. So I decided to just make a video on it because for one, a lot of the things that I learned that I'm going to show you guys, I've learned through YouTube videos, through just doing my own general research. I was not taught this like by my mom or anybody. I had to figure this out all on my own. So. I'm here to give it to you guys. So as a woman, we all know that the vagina, the JJ, the hoo-ha, whatever you wanna call it, it's a very sensitive area. And if you don't take care of it, it could be some dire consequences uh, if you don't know how to take care of it properly. Um, I learned a lot of this stuff through trial and error because I was having issues. I didn't really understand like, you know, you're not supposed to put soap down there. You're not supposed to douche. You're not supposed, you know, a lot of things that, you know, we are taught as, as young girls actually is not the greatest thing to take care of our vagina. So I'm going to tell you some things that I learned. I'm going to tell you one, how to keep your vagina fresh and clean. Two, how to cure bacterial vaginosis. Because for one, I know a lot of people, a lot of women dealt with bacterial vaginosis. I had a period of time where I was dealing with bacterial vaginosis and um, through a lot of research and trial and error, I finally figured out the key to curing it where I don't have an issue with it at all whatsoever. I wanna tell you guys, I wanna say about four items that I use and four methods that I use to keep my vagina fresh and so I don't get um, yeast infections and bacterial vaginosis. So first, to understand the vagina, you have to understand that your vagina is actually a acidic area and it's supposed to be acidic. So when you put something up there that's not acidic, that's not the same pH level, you're gonna throw your pH balance off and that is what invites the bacterial vaginosis and the yeast infections is when you're putting stuff there that's not supposed to be there. So for instance, soap, uh, douche, um, if you leave tampons on too long, if you are getting sweaty or wet, like if you're sweating a lot or you get in the pool and you keep on your wet clothes too long, that can also disrupt your pH balance, okay? So any, also sex. So if you're having uh, unprotected sex, sometimes your partner's uh, penis is a diff is is going to be a different acid uh, pH balance than your vagina, and that can get that can throw it off immediately. So the first thing you want to do when you, when you when your pH balance gets thrown off and you want to normalize your pH is you want to take a apple cider vinegar bath. So what you do is you put your two cups of apple cider vinegar, and you're going to fill your tub up to about halfway. And you're just gonna kind of sit in the tub in some warm water and just sit there. Uh, you wanna probably sit there in the tub for about 30, 30 minutes. Now this is something that you wanna do occasionally. Now I wouldn't suggest you do it every day. I would say if you feel like your bacterial vaginosis is coming back or you're about to, or you feel like you're about to get a yeast infection, I would do this maybe like every other day. Now apple cider vinegar is different from the vinegar that they use in douche, in, in the douche, whatever, how you say shit, douche, douche, whatever. The apple cider vinegar is different. Uh, apple cider vinegar is different from the white vinegar, so it has different properties, and it actually is gonna help your um, pH balance, pH balance in your vagina. And also, get the apple cider vinegar with the mother. Don't just use regular apple cider vinegar. Make sure it's um, make sure it has the mother, and it'll stay on the bottle. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna buy boric acid suppositories okay i just found out about boric acid suppositories i didn't know what boric acid was when i actually read something the first time that that, that mentioned it to use it for your vaginal health i was like what the hell is this i'm not sticking anything up my vagina but you know i actually gave it a try when i was having issues and it actually works and it works immediately so pretty much it's like a little peel and I'm gonna put a picture of the one that I bought right here but it's like a little peel it looks like a white peel and you pretty much you stick it up your vagina and you let it sit there for like a day or whatever um, like so typically you want to put it in there like when you're about to go to bed 
it's not gonna leak or anything like that. It's just you wanna just make sure like you're not gonna be walking around. So typically you know, you're gonna put it in there right before you go to sleep and the next morning your symptoms will be greatly reduced and might even be gone. So um, I suggest you do the boric acid suppositories until you feel like your BV is gone. For me, I did it for like three days and after that I didn't have any issues whatsoever guys when i tell you like this is a lifesaver it is literally a lifesaver so if you never heard of boric acid get some trust me you, i got mine off of amazon another thing you want to do is you want to get really good probiotics guys so probiotics is what's gonna pretty much put the good bacteria back into your vagina and regulate your ph okay Here's the thing, when we get uh, when we get yeast infections and you go to the doctor, your doctor is going to give you antibiotics. Antibiotics gets rid of all the bacteria, not just the bad bacteria, it gets rid of the good bacteria. So what's going to happen is, right after you go get your antibiotics for your yeast infection, your yeast infection will go away, but it's going to come back because now your body doesn't have now your body doesn't have any good bacteria so what's going to happen is you're going to go through this cycle of yeast infections and they're going to just keep coming back and keep coming back and keep coming back because antibiotics are bad for you you don't need like okay i'm not telling y'all not to go to the doctor what i'm saying is if you do go to the doctor and you get antibiotics you might want to be taking probiotics as well i take probiotics pretty much every day i've been taking them for years and i have not had a yeast infection since i started taking probiotics so but it has to be good probiotics so the probiotic that i take has 50 billion uh what i forgot what it's called but if you ever bought, bought uh if you ever bought probiotics you'll see it says 1 billion 10 billion 50 billion i take 50 billion and i take one capsule a day in the morning and that pretty much solve all of my issues it, it the probiotics is more so like a long-term everyday kind of thing the boric acid and the and the um the boric acid and the acv i'll do that occasionally but the probiotics i take those every single day usually for the probiotics you'll see on the bottom it'll say vaginal health or women's probiotic get those because those probiotics are made are those probiotics are manufactured just for your um, vaginal health because there are so many different types of probiotic strains that you might get you might pay a lot of money for these probiotics and they don't even do what it's supposed to do so make sure that on the bottle it says like women or flora vaginal something like that to, so you know that this is for your vagina the last thing that i want to say is actually something that i just learned recently as well uh, but vitamin d all right so Vitamin D, we get, we're supposed to get vitamin D from the sun. However, if you have melanin in your skin, it makes it harder for your body to absorb the vitamin D. And if you don't really go outside that much, it makes your body not, uh, well, if you don't go outside, you're not getting any vitamin D from the sun. So a lot of women, a lot of black women are actually vitamin D deficient. And actually vitamin D deficiency is actually linked to bacterial vaginosis. I had no idea. I just started reading up on this like a couple weeks ago. Um, but yeah, so what I did was I introduced some vitamin D supplements into my diet. Now, I do not know if the vitamin D is actually doing anything, but I do know that I, I, I was doing a lot of research on this. A lot of women on YouTube were actually commenting that, hey, vitamin D helped them. But I take all, I do all of these together. So. I do the ACV baths like occasionally, like literally like a couple times a year when I feel like I need it. I do the boric acid as needed. Like anytime I anytime I feel like my pH balance has been thrown off, I do the boric acid depository for a couple of days. I take the probiotics every single day and then I do the vitamin D every single day. I don't I'm not sure if the vitamin D is actually is, is what's preventing the bacterial vaginosis. But it wouldn't hurt to add the vitamin D into your diet, knowing that we don't really get enough vitamin D. So, I mean, it wouldn't hurt. It sucks that we're not taught this and that, well, maybe some of y'all, you know, your, your mom or family members taught you guys this stuff. But some of us, you know, had to learn this on our own. And it sucks that when we go to the doctor, they don't ever tell us these natural cures. All they want to do is pump us with antibiotics, which is really bad. 
and then the antibiotics it doesn't really cure it it just comes back and it comes back again and it comes back again so it just really sucks that we have to go through this but that's why i made this video because i know that there are women out there who are suffering from this and this is and it's really annoying it's really irritating and but these things here that i just told you i swear to god guys i it, it'll pretty much cure you i have no issues anymore it's great you know everything down there is good <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know this is a different type of video but i felt like it needed to be said if you enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe also ladies join my uh, free fitness facebook group the link is in the description and i'll see you guys on the next video Bye, guys.